Hey guys, I am here to film another haul video for you and I am here to film a AliExpress haul. So I have a ridiculous amount of stuff to go through. Um, for the past couple days I've gotten like a lot of stuff which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, first thing I will say though, I will not tolerate the nasty comments. I will delete them because I have had some people who have been extremely rude and disrespectful. Um, if you don't approve of uh, makeup that is like replica, please just don't even watch this video. Just exit out. You know, I want just love and peace on this channel. I don't want any drama. So just please exit out. You know, I'm just doing my thing. Like, why would you even watch it if you just approve of it? You know, kind of thing. So don't be a hater. You know, just be like awesome and positive and nice and see how far it gets you in life. Seriously. Um, okay. So another thing, I will be only linking the products down below, uh, the direct links in the description box that are, um, that are not replicas. So like the phone cases and stuff like that that I'm going to share and jewelry products, I will leave the direct link down below. And for all the other like replica items, I will leave the seller's store down below and hopefully you'll be able to find them a lot easier. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions on that, you know, what to look up, etc. So I'll just leave the seller links from now on down below. I will not be leaving the direct links and uh, there's that's a whole other story. So just, you know, just know that there's reasons for it, good reasons for it. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into this video. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys are these really pretty um, earrings that I got. I don't know. They're just like some random cute earrings. And they're just dangly earrings. I think I paid like a dollar or two for these. So I will leave those in the description box. Everything will be mentioned in the description box. Just one thing I want to clarify because I have a lot of questions um, in the comments. And if you just read the description box, I will leave some stuff for you. So don't you worry. I got your back, girl. Uh, the next thing is this really nice brush. This is like a, I don't know, probably like a setting brush. But um, I'm going to probably use this for like swiping away the baking powder underneath my eyes or uh, you could use this for contouring, blush, highlight, whatever you want to use it for. But this was like super cheap, like maybe like a dollar thirty nine or something like that. It was really, really nice and it comes with this little protective sleeve. Um, I thought this would be really nice to keep just for travel. You know, if you travel with a brush, you want to kind of keep the bristles really nice and so the product doesn't go everywhere after you've used it. So yeah, this is super cheap and really cute quality. Um, the next items are these little phone cases and also the phone cases on my phone before I forget. Um, this one is really pretty and it's just like a nice like hard plastic. I think I have a, a Galaxy S4 and I think I only pay like $2 for this possibly somewhere around there 2 or $3. It's not like a front covering case but it just ca uh, covers certain parts of the phone like the sides. So yeah that one was super cute. And then I also picked up this one, which I thought was really cute. And then this one with the chevron print. Super cheap, really cute. Um, the next item that I picked up are some uh, replica items. These are some MAC paint pots. And I got the shade... Uh, macro violet and pink. Now I also got the shade light coffee but I have to open a dispute because I didn't receive that in this package and this package was supposed to be all from one seller and it was supposed to have everything so I don't know what happened with that but um, yeah these are like really cool they have um, they're like really nice heavy duty kind of like um, glass Oops, hope you guys can see that is what the product looks like and I will go ahead and swatch these. These are really beautiful. These feel very similar to the, um, if you guys have ever used the Maybelline um, color tattoos, it feels extremely similar formula wise. And they're super pigmented. This one is so pretty. So pretty. And the packaging of these looks like this. It's got the name at the top. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to my new camera. So I do apologize for that. 
barcode on the bottom, and that is what the back looks like. The next shade is just called Pink. Same packaging. It's also got the Back to Mac logo on the inside, and this is what it looks like. Whoops. And this is the shade. Oh, shit. I should have grabbed something to swatch this with because we're just going to swatch it with our knuckle. How about that? We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Fail. This one isn't as full as the other one was, so it's a little bit harder to swatch. Um, but it is really super pigmented and shimmery, so I just thought that was really cool. You could use these as eyeshadow bases. It's this one right here. Um, it might not look like it's super pigmented, but it is. I just didn't get a good swatch. Uh, but this is what the shade looks like. And they're really creamy and nice. Um, I can't remember how much these were, I want to say. Somewhere around 2 to $3, so. Like I said, I will leave the seller down below. Go ahead and clean that off. Um, the next product is from the same seller, and these are actually quite disappointing. I'm really sad I got these and that they were complete shit. So, um, I have, I got these because I thought they were pretty cool, and they are the MAC Eyeshadow Times 9 and the packaging is just like whatever, you know. So I got three different ones, and this is, um, A48. I got like three different ones. I really don't like these at all really disappointed. They're really pretty, um, like, when you see them on camera and stuff, but they are just not pigmented. Um, some shades are more pigmented than others, but they are just so small you can barely, like, fit your finger in there to swatch them. Um, I would say definitely the shimmer shades are more metallic and pigmented than the matte shades. Um, they do come with a variety of matte and shimmers. I think they had about five different palettes to choose from. They look really good on the finger swatches, but once you swatch them on the skin, they just kind of disappear to nothing. There are some shades that are more pigmented than other others, like I said, but overall, these palettes are just not really worth it to me. I think I paid about $5 and change for these, so I don't know. Kind of disappointing. Um, I feel like these would go on really good with the finger. I feel like I tried to use these with um, a makeup brush just to see if they I would get some more pigment out of them and they did not work at all with a makeup brush, so that's a little disappointing. Um, so I got that one. I got this one, which is a 46. Ugh, where are my scissors? Sorry. That was creepy face. Don't. I won't do that again. That was scary. <laughs> um, this next one is a 46. It's just got some nice warm tone colors in there. So, yeah. These are just so hard to swatch and so hard to get your finger in because they are such small, especially if you have nails. They're such small um, little holes. I don't know. This one is okay. The darker colors and the ones that are um, more shimmery are definitely more pigmented, so... Like I said, the matte, matte shades are just kind of like non-existent. But I wouldn't really recommend these. I would definitely recommend the paint pots from this seller, but not uh, not these. And this last one is A42. The shades are really pretty. They look a lot bigger like on screen, but when you see them in like from afar, you can tell they're kind of small. And they really are just like super, super tiny to get your finger in. Like, look at this. You know, it's just like, err. And you can't really get a brush in there too well either. I've tried it all, people. And they're kind of powdery. A lot of them are really powdery, so it kind of sucks. So yeah, I'm not going to even bother swatching those on the hand because they're just not really worth it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh my gosh, this is like the fourth video I filmed and my I'm like my throat's dry. So the last thing from that seller that I got are these MAC lip glasses and I got the shade A14, which is Oyster Girl. And this is really pretty. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like standard MAC packaging. You got the name on the top and it says like the the number from the supplier or whatever 
the factory. It does not have a Back to Mac logo on the flip. And this is what the shade looks like. It's really nice. It's got your sticker on the bottom. Standard doe foot applicator. This is a very sheer gloss. I feel like the, um, the MAC ones are very similar in formula and um, sheerness. I just feel like they're just a sheer wash of color. So this one is a pink one called Oyster Girl. Probably looks a lot more pigmented than what it is. These are slightly sticky, but not like the worst I've ever tried. So yeah, I would recommend these. These are like, I don't know, $1.99 and I would definitely recommend these ones. This is A12 see-through, um, which is a super light nude. And if you're into like glosses and you don't mind if they're like sticky or whatever, I'd say these are cool. These are good for you. So that is the shade see-through, the more nude shade. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I do recommend those. I think they're pretty. Nice sheer washes of color if that's what you're looking for. Um, then I got, this is really awesome. This is the Lime Crime I Have Two Moods Velveteens, uh, Velvetines Duo Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And um, it has the shade Marshmallow and Raven. And this is what the packaging looks like. Super pretty. Um, if you guys know, like, of, um, oh, it says Velveteens there. Um, of how to make a video of how to make those boards, those DIY boards of like the cardboard boxes and stuff from your makeup, please leave it in the comments down below because I really want to find out how to do that. Um, I think it's basically you get a foam board and you just take some glue and you know stick them all on there and cut out like whatever you want from the boxes and stuff. Um, but I want to do that because I think it's a cool idea and I don't know, I think it'd be cool for like a beauty room or whatever. So it comes with your two shades here. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I tried the light one, which is called Marshmallow on the lips. And um, I, at first I liked it, and then I kind of felt like it was just a little too light for me. But this is the shade, it's really pretty. Um, standard packaging. They have actually the rose at the top, like the original ones do, from the, uh, from Lime Crime. And, Packaging's like on point. These shades are very pigmented, very pretty, and they have the same like, um, like kind of like um, chemically scent that's kind of like, uh, you know, standard for the Velveteens that you get from, um, from Ally. And um, yeah, so that is the shade there, Marshmallow. And this one is the shade Raven, which is a really nice like dark, deep, vampy purple color. This is just one swipe I want to show you guys. It's kind of like a little patchy, but I feel like it's very buildable. So, yeah, there's that. Um, okay. Let's see. And I think that was pretty cheap. I think this was maybe like $4.99, and I had it on pre-order. This one came in about like a month and a half, um, but I think that's because it was on pre-order, so if you order from the seller that I leave linked down below, hopefully it won't take as long because it's no longer a pre-order, I hope, for you guys uh, watching this now. Um, these phone cases came within like two weeks, uh, as well as the one that's on my phone. The earrings came within like three weeks-ish. Um, the This came within like, I don't know, a month and a half, the brush and all the stuff from this seller, the MAC products that I just showed you came within, um, I think like three-ish weeks. The next items I'm gonna tell you guys about are these little small ear cuffs. These were like 50 cents a piece, and I just got a gold one, two gold ones, and one of them has like little detailing there. And they basically just have this little clasp where you kind of open it to fit your ear and you just kind of stretch it out and just put it on your uh, whatever part of your ear you want to. So I thought those were super cute and cheap. I also have these sunglasses here that I want to share with you guys. This is the case it comes in. And I think these were like a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie. Like one, I want to say, not pricey pricey, but like $7. But you can tell they're like super cheaply made, like insane. Um, and but I'm cool with it because they're you know like that's what I bought them for I didn't buy them for like quality or anything like that 
um, but I thought for the price, I think these should have been like maybe $2.99, maybe $3.99 at the most. But they have the mirrored lenses and they are the really nice like um, like kind of like shape that everybody's been like loving lately. Um, when you put them on, you see like a green tint, which is kind of cool. And um, they do feel a little, a little flimsy when they're in your hands, but once they're on your face, I think you're okay. Um, you know, they just kind of have like some interesting details to them. But if you look up very close, you can see that they're kind of um, glued on a little, you know, kind of a little just cheaply. But that's okay. Um, I expected that, and they're not as good as the gold ones that I got um, a couple hauls ago, but I really like these anyway, so they're pretty cool, and they're like a pinky purple shade, which is awesome, because I love pink and purple. Oh, shit. Whoops. Okay. The next item is a uh, Laura Mercier loose setting translucent powder and I just thought this was uh don't mind that I did that when I was cutting the box but um that it came in <laughs> so this is just number one translucent and I figured I would try this because I have the elf um high definition setting powder and I don't really like the formula of this one I feel like it's a little too drying and then I have the NYC smoothing skin loose face powder that I use on a regular basis that I just wanted to be a little bit more white. So this one seems to be like, you know, pretty legit looking. I know this is like $40 normally or whatever, the real one. Um, but that is what the bottom looks like. And that is what it looks like. It looks a little less beige than my NYC one, which is what I was looking for. Um, this does look a lot more like white, which is awesome because that is absolutely what I was looking for for baking. So I'm super excited to try this. This was around like, I want to say around like $6.99, $7. So pretty pricey for something on Alley, but I don't really care because I thought it was a good, you know, investment, hopefully, hopefully, because that'll last me like forever um, if it's a good formula. And from the same seller, I picked up this Lorac Pro Palette 2 and um, I have the original Lorac one that I got and it's really good and I like it a lot. So this is just the packaging, um, standard, nothing crazy. And in the front part you get your primer. This is like super crazy because there's maybe like, if I squeeze it, you can see um, that there's maybe like that much primer in it and so that's not a lot. But I don't really care because I didn't buy it for the primer. Just giving you guys a warning. But I got it for the palette. And I will take it out as soon as I can. So this is what it looks like. And it's just the gray one. And this is what comes with it. And it's got some like more like bright colors than the original one. The original one was more like um, like nude shades and this one is more of like um, some really nice like uh, just colorful shades. So this is what it looks like. Really nice um, pigmentation. Oops. Really nice pigmentation um, for some of them. Some of them are a little powdery feeling but on average this one seems to be pretty nice so I'm excited to try that out um, if you guys want me to do a first uh, full face first impressions of Aliexpress makeup please just leave a comment down below and I will be sure to do that for you I've been trying to kind of do that in every one of my videos just try out like a whole bunch of Aliexpress makeup um, so yeah let's see um, the next thing that I got were these MAC mineralized blushes and um, the seller that I got these from was very good with communication with me. Um, he messaged me the day after I ordered these and told me that um, I ordered like two different sets. Okay, the first set had 12 pieces and he was trying, he told me that um, a lot of the shades were out of stock so he would have to send me like three of each and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I ended up canceling that order but I did still stick with this order um, the one 
the 12 piece one was probably I want to say like $20 and I think this one was maybe like $14 somewhere around there um, but like I said I'll leave the seller in the link uh, in the comment or in the description box down below um, but this one also does have two shades that are the same um, so he did let me know that these shades would be um, duplicates so basically I got like six shades but I got four shades that were different and then two that were the same so the other two I will probably just give to friends um, if they're okay with using like you know counterfeit makeup whatever um, so these are the mineralized mineralized blushes and um, I got six shades the other two that I was going to get were sold out so um, he gave me duplicates so this one is called happy together and this is the packaging the packaging for all of them are these same so i will just show you one so this is the shade happy together and it is a really pretty um like pink marbleized kind of like look these are the mac old packaging by the way and um, they do come with a little protective film uh, but these do feel kind of like really cheaply made, very like hard to kind of close the top. It's not as easy as the originals are. And um, it, the MAC part kind of has some scratches on it, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm actually, you know, just concerned with the product. So, oops, this is what the product looks like. And it's got some really cool swirls in there of like bronze and pink. So I would just use these swirl together. That's my personal preference. And this is the shade here. And there's the swatch. I'm going to go ahead and try and remember to just swatch the freaking shades on my other hand on my other hand. Because this one is hard to kind of show you guys on camera. Um, so I got duplicates of that one. So I got two of those. And I got two of this one, which is called New Vibe. And this one is a, um, it's got like a camo, almost like a camo look to these, which I thought was kind of cool. I normally don't like camo, but that is what it looks like. Now they do look a lot prettier on the site. Um, I do believe the seller discontinued selling these, so I do apologize for that, but that's something I can't really control. Um, now this one is kind of odd. It has green and um, green and uh, orange. So this one I'll probably just be using for an eyeshadow because honestly, I don't really know. I swatched them two different kind of ways. One with more orange, one with more of the green. Um, I don't really think I could use this on the face as a blush. But as a giant eyeshadow, I could do that. So I got two of those. next one I got is called hang loose and by the way they do have the back to Mac on this one as well this one is really really pretty and this shade is so nice it's got like yellow kind of like actually that yellow is more of like it looks yellow but it's more of a gold like a yellow gold and then it has purple mixed in one thing I kind of don't like about these is once you kind of swatch them, you kind of ruin the pattern a little bit, which is sad. So if you want to keep these for decorative purposes, I don't blame you. I'm kind of trying to get like a different swatch with each. So you can kind of see that one. You can use this as a highlighter and a blush, depending on where you swirl your brush. thought that one was super pretty. Um, but yeah, I definitely do feel like, I think the seller did discontinue these, unfortunately. But I do think that the picture was a lot better um, than what they look like. But they still aren't, like, super bad. I'm not mad about these at all. And I think the communication with the seller was really good, so. And this one is called Band of Roses. Now, these did come um, with, like the CB names. So this one's CB9. Um, Hang Loose is CB8. New Vibe is CB11. And Happy Together is CB12. And those are the um, kind of like 
things that they put on your um, like on the order you'll see that it says like CB whatever that's what you go off of when you order them so this one is a really beautiful purple shade it's like a purple tie-dye I think this one is probably my favorite it's got like kind of blue and dark purple so pretty like legit look at this shade so cool so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this as a blush but definitely an eyeshadow so I thought those were pretty cool so that is those there the next item is this really cool um, rainbow highlighter and this is the packaging that it comes in and um, the blushes took probably like three weeks to get here and um, the same with the um, the Laura Mercier powder and the Lorac Pro palette. This one took about I don't know, probably like a month to get here. Um, so this is one individual pan, but it is a really big pan. And I think these are hand pressed, handmade highlighters, just like the original Rainbow highlighters um, that came out. So let's just go ahead and do a swipe test oh how cool I didn't get the ones that were like super bright I mean these are super bright but they're not like the other ones this is what the swatches look like hope you guys can see that is of the first three colors on the top and the bottom three colors swirled kind of together ish um, from the bottom I'll swatch them on my other hand because that was kind of a shitty swatch but um this was like seven dollars and change I think and like I said, this is hand pressed, handmade, and it is different when you swirl it all together as well. You kind of mess up the design a little bit, but it is what it is. You know, you kind of got to take that in consideration. So you can use the top three, the top two, whatever you want to use. It's got like a whole bunch of different shades in here. So that's what it looks like so cool rainbow highlighter on fleek unicorn highlighter on fleek very nice and reflective um which is really cool um i don't know if like if you can do that that brush thing where it all comes out like one shade or you know you can see the individual shades with this one but i'll have to try that in a video where i actually try it on my face so i'll keep you updated on that um oh no I don't know what just fell. God only knows at this point. I have so much on this desk. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I'm super excited about are these Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These took forever to get to me because they were on pre-order. I got my other ones that I ordered actually after, a couple weeks later, um, quicker, you know, um, but this is cool. I finally found them, or I finally got them, and I got four shades. This is what the packaging looks like. And it's got your name shades at the top in like a red sticker. So the first shade here I have here, these are absolutely gorgeous by the way. Um, this one is called Gemini. And that's what the packaging looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch these very quickly. They've got the large doe foot applicator which is really like flat and cool looking. Um, So that's what they look like. And this is just one swipe. Gemini. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the smell is really nice. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, wait. No, that's my makeup remover wipe. <laughs> um, that was so random. Anyway, um, let me see if this one has a smell. This is called I'm Nude, which is super light peach nude. I just got this one for mixing with other liquid lipsticks that I want to make lighter because... Um, this is a little too light for me on a daily basis. There's one swipe of that one. So no, these don't have a scent. This one here is called Celebrity Skin. And this one is a gorgeous nude. But it's kind of got like a, like a nice mauve to it. 
and these dry, I've noticed that these, any one of these that I've had, dry a lot darker than what they are in the tube for the most part. But they go on really smooth, they're creamy. Um, they do last a decent amount of time from what I've, you know, noticed, this one. That last one, this, this one here, is um, Celebrity Skin. And then this one, this last one here is Androgyny, which is super gorgeous. I'm super excited to receive this one. It's a super dark berry shade. I don't know if these are super true to the actual colors Jeffrey has, but I do like these colors regardless, so, you know. And it is that last, like, purpley shade right here. Really nice colors. And they're super hard to get off with a makeup removing wipe, so just keep that in mind. That kind of is a good thing, seeing as they will stay on your lips for quite some time. The next thing um, that I have here is this palette. This is the 35K dupe palette from Morphe. And it doesn't say Morphe on it or anything, so I will leave the link down below. So this is what it looks like. It's just a sticker down here says K35. And look at how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got some really beautiful shades in here. I will show you some matte shades and also some shimmer shades. They're all super crazy pigmented. Um, I think these have like a variety of shimmers and mattes and maybe a couple satins in here. That's what the shades look like. One swipe pigmentation, absolutely flipping gorgeous. So stunning, seriously. These colors are phenomenal. There is um, just some crazy pigmentation, super creamy. I just can't say enough good things about these, except for the fact that I just broke one, damn it, uh, with my fingernail. I'm like dropping stuff all over my table. Um, but it has like, it's super warm palette, but it also has some smoky colors in it, which gives a really nice variety. And it also has some golds in there, um, like a black shade, some grays. Um, there is also an olive green shade, which is just stunning. Look at that. That's the olive green. It looks more like a black, but um, it's like a super dark olive green shade, but it looks black. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's super pretty and crazy pigmented and yeah, I highly recommend this palette. I think this came within like three weeks and I think it was, um, I don't know, like $14 and change. So yeah, I highly recommend this palette. Um, and I highly recommend the Morphe 350 dupe palette as well. Cause that's the first one I ordered and that inspired me to get this one. Um, the shades are similar in that one, but they are definitely more, um, like warm tone. The other one has like the mixtures of the cool and warm tones. This one is the, the one that I shared in my last one. And then that's the, the Morphe one. And then this is, or I mean the 350 and this is the 35K. So you can see the differences. You kind of 